Hello, it's Sarah and Jeannie. So this is the piece that I've been talking about, you guys. I went to uh, a woman's house, Jeannie Bell. She lives about a mile from me, not far, and it's called Mosaic Made. And she does have a Facebook page. Anywho, this is the piece. It's a terracotta pot, and there's dirt in there because I have a plant in here. And I wanted to make, I, I saw her at a, a craft fair that's in my area, and she was making these pots, and I was like, I have to have it, so I was able to take the class with her. So it took me about three sessions, three or four, I forget. Anyway, it turned into a genie. So basically, it, it all started with the nose, really. I mean, the ears were part of it, too. I'm just going to... You know, they have like little flowery stuff on it, but the nose is what created this guy. So he's a genie. I don't know his name. You guys maybe can help me out with that. I think he looks like a genie because of this thing here. He looks like he's sitting in front of a, uh, a crystal ball. He's got some yellow teeth, um, but the nose is what started it. It was a green nose, so I just went with it and I started picking out other green stuff. This cup is part of I don't even know if this is this I don't know um, some of it and now the the best part about working at her house is she has all the supplies so that comes with the price and you know I mean the back is pretty cool too she she brought out little bits that I could stuff in the thing so I put a couple sugar skull beads in there you know how I love my sugar skulls and just little um what are these called millifluory leaf petal shapes. This is actually just a silver bead. And I think these tiles, the round ones she got at like Home Depot, she, you can get sheets of them. This is, I just decided to do, it fit around the rim really nice and I flipped it over to so the textured side was showing to kind of represent hair. I don't know. And that's it. But the, oh look, he has like little crow's feet. And I just wanted to pull the pink up so I put little pink above his eyelid and these are his eyebrows we love him my whole family thinks he's fantastic he sits I'm going to show you the plant that goes in here which is so perfect I mean I was I bought a croton to put in him and I actually liked this plant better because this is the plant I'm going to after the video this is Chinese evergreen it's my silver bag Linema. But it kind of looks like feathers. So when he, you know, when it's inside the pot, it looks like he has feathers in his cap. And I'm getting dirt everywhere. So let me show you the other one I made. I'm going to show you after when he's like in his spot where he lives in my house. Um, the other one I made was because Jeannie taught me how to do it. I came home and decided to use uh, one of my pots that I had gotten from Marshalls I don't have the other one in here but it was it's like a flat backed uh, up against the wall type right so it hangs from this rope and here she is and actually I think I want to give my genie a ring in his nose so I think I'm gonna put a ring through his nose today too I forgot um, instead of giving him earrings. He could have earrings, but this is my girl. Let me move him over. He's casting a shadow. So, this is all made, well, not all, because these are, the circle pieces are from, like, when you order, I think they're, they call them penny rounds or something. The white eyes are stained glass, and so is the mouth. But I think, I'm pretty sure the rest of it, yeah, the rest of it is made out of either a plate, a cup, um, and that's it. So the eyelashes, they're supposed to be eyelashes, are like the edge of a plate that I just cut down. Um, the eyebrows, again, are the, oh, of, of the edge of a cup. So it was just the rim around the top of a cup became the eyebrows. The nose is probably the handle for this cup. And then these ears were from a very, very, like, cheesy. It was already broken, actually. And I got it all at the uh, Goodwill. So 
really tried to go for the most cheap stuff I could find. And then the hair, I want to say that's a plate. And you can kind of see that it's dimensional and it'll poke me. But I just kind of wanted to give it like some type of movement. And I realized that I kind of need to get some red plates and cups because I think the lips, I could probably make the lips more puffy too. And they just look really flat because they're um, stained glass. Um, and that's basically it. So I grouted everything with um, gray, my gray grout that I've been using. And I did give her earrings. These are just those like... I don't even know what they're called, but they're little like key ring, locking key ring things. So they're not actual jewelry findings. And I just put some of my beads that I had from macrame. So they're just plastic beads. And this one is going to hang in my bathroom. So I'll take you up and show you where this is hanging too. And today I'm going to put this plant. Now this is standing up right now and it's something I propagated. So it's something that it probably doesn't have a really strong root system yet because I took it from um, propagating. Like I put it in water and it grew roots. But I think um, it's just a, a pothos. And pothos is very strong. Like I usually can't kill them. And look, it's already growing. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put this in there and see what happens. Because my bathroom doesn't have a ton of light. But yeah, there's new growth here. Um, so I'm just going to transplant this into that. And it kind of grows up high. So that, these are my peeps. So let me go and show you where they sit in my house. So I'll be right back. All right, there she is. This is where, so like, I'm in the bathroom. That's just like where the door is and she hangs right there. The window is opposite. And I think this plant looks cute. Like I can maybe trim it if it starts going in her face too much but I think it looks great so I'm happy and there's no drain holes in there but it'll be cute anyway anywho all right now I gotta go downstairs and show you where my genie is all right here's my genie so that plant that aglaonema was sitting on that little plant stand the whole time and I'm just going to try and keep still, but he's just keeping watch on us. This is like my, I'm sitting at the little table where we eat. The kitchen's to my right. The Zen Den is to my left. And I'm going to zoom in because honestly, I th don't think that plant could have been any more perfect for him. I know the light's terrible, but that's him. I'm super happy with him. So Jeannie Bell, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I'm so happy with him. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.